Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on functional programming in JavaScript. Functional programming is a programming paradigm that treats computation as the evaluation of mathematical functions. It emphasizes immutability, first class functions, and higher order functions, and aims to make code more declarative and easier to reason about. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics which are introduction to functional programming concepts, then the difference between pure and impure functions, and then using the map filter and reduce to transform data. Finally, creating and using higher order functions and working with immutability. Before we dive in, for those who don't have a solid understanding of what a function in JavaScript is, a function is a block of code that takes one or more inputs. It performs some actions on them and then returns an output. In JavaScript, functions are first class citizens, which means that they can be assigned to variables, passed as arguments to other functions, and they can be returned as values from functions. Here is an example of a simple function that will return the square of a number. So function is square and then it will return x multiplied by x that's it now we can call this function and it will return the squared value of the argument so for example if we will pass in 2 it will return 4 if we will pass 3 then it will return 9 and so on and so forth one key concept in functional programming is the idea of a pure function a pure function is a function that has no side effects, meaning it doesn't modify any variables outside of its own scope and always returns the same output for a given input. Here is an example of a pure function. So function which is going to add to values. It does not depend on any external variables or state. It will just work on the arguments that have been provided to it so it means that the output is always going to be the same if the argument values are same on the other hand an impure function is a function that has side effects such as modifying global variables or making network requests so for example if i will declare result outside of this function and then I will simply do result equals to x plus y and then if I will return result then it will be an impure function even though its result is always going to depend upon the arguments that have been provided but because this function is modifying a global variable it is not a pure function because it can modify a state outside of this function's own context. So in functional programming, we generally try to avoid using impure functions and we instead rely on pure functions as much as possible. This makes our code easier to test and reuse. Another important concept in functional programming is the use of higher order functions. A higher order function is a function that takes one or more functions as arguments or returns a function as its output. One common use of higher order functions is to abstract away common patterns of function composition. For example, the array map function takes an array and function as arguments and it applies the function argument to each of the element of the array and then it returns a new array with the result. For example, if we want to use map to square all the elements of an array, First, we can have our array like this and then we can create another array which can be called as a squared numbers which can be fetched by doing numbers.map and then providing a function as an argument which is going to square all of these array elements. Now when we will call this function then the output is going to be the square of all the existing numbers array elements we can also use the filter function to select only certain elements of an array based on a predicate function here is an example of using the filter function to select only the even numbers from an array so all of these numbers 
in this numbers array we are only going to select the even numbers based on the predicate that we will provide to the array dot filter function to see the output we can simply log even numbers array to the console and this is going to be the output finally we can use the reduce function to combine all the elements of an array into a single value the reduce function takes a function as an argument which is used to combine the elements of the array in some way for example we can create an array like this and then we can use the reduce function to get the sum of all of these array elements like this numbers dot reduce what we will do is we will provide a reducer function as an argument first the accumulated value and then the current value so we will simply add to the accumulated value and then we will provide the initial value which is going to be zero when we will log this sum to the console then we will get the output as 10 which is the sum of all of these area items in addition to this built in higher order functions we can also create our own higher order functions this can be useful for abstracting away common patterns of function composition and reuse one final concept we will cover is immutability in functional programming we try to avoid modifying data which is in place and instead we create new data whenever we need to make changes this makes our code easier to reason about and debug because we don't have to worry about unexpected side effects from data changes in javascript we can use the object.assign function to create a new object with modified values for example suppose that we have a person object with two properties name and age we can create a new person object updated person by using object dot assign first we have to provide the value for the target object which is going to be a new object and then we have to provide the source and then we have to provide another source which can overwrite the existing property values so if we will provide a new object with the property age but with the value of 31 then this will create a new updated person with age 31 instead of age 30 we can also use the spread operator to create a new array with modified values for example if we have an array with the name numbers with these values then we can create a new array with the name updated numbers we can spread out the existing numbers from the numbers array and then we can add a new number so if we will log this updated numbers then the output is going to be 1 2 3 4 plus 5 in conclusion functional programming is a powerful paradigm that can help you write more declarative predictable and reusable code by understanding and using concepts like pure functions higher order functions and immutability you can create code that is easier to understand maintain and test i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on functional programming in javascript if you did please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching